Hello and welcome back to the channel. So in this lecture, we are going to talk about the major cloud service providers which provides the cloud services as per your requirement. So in the previous all the lectures, we have seen all about the cloud computing basics. So we will wrap this series by discussing the major cloud providers in market right now. So without further ado, let's get into it. So this cloud service providers, which is also known as CSP, will offer the various services that you are already aware of, which are nothing but a software as a service, which is SSAS, platform as a service, which is also known as PAS, infrastructure as a service, which is IAS. Then we have also seen the network services, business application, as well as the mobile application and the infrastructure in the cloud. So we have seen all these topics except the business applications and mobile applications that we are going to see in our full course video. But I hope you are already aware of SSAS, PAS, IAS and the basic difference between them. If not, I will link those videos into this i button so you can refer it. Otherwise, you can refer our whole playlist dedicated to cloud computing. So these cloud providers host these services in a data center and the users can access it through the cloud provider companies using the internet connection. Now we will see the different cloud providers and their services one by one. The first one is, and I think you are already aware of it, which is nothing but Amazon Web Services known as AWS. So the Amazon Web Services is a secure cloud service platform which is provided by Amazon. So it offers various services such as database storage, computing power, content delivery, relational databases, simple email, queue and other functionalities to increase the organizational growth. So there are different features in AWS. So some of them are building scalable, cost effective and enterprise applications. So we will discuss them one by one. So the AWS is scalable because it has the ability to scale the computing resources either upward or downward according to your requirement. Also, the AWS is very cost effective as it works on the pay as you go pricing model. So it will only pay for the stuff that you consume. The next feature is it also provides a very flexible storage options, which is required if you're storing huge data sets in the cloud. Next one is it offers a various security services such as infrastructure security, data encryption that we have seen in the previous lecture as well as the monitoring and logging, identity and access control and some other features as well. And it can efficiently manage and secure the Windows workloads. So these are some basic key features of Amazon Web Services. The next big giant in the cloud world is Microsoft Azure. So Microsoft Azure, which is also known as a Windows Azure, which supports various operating systems, databases, programming languages and frameworks that will allow the IT professional for easily building, deploying and managing the applications through a worldwide network. So it allows users for creating different groups for related utilities. So it is very convenient. So let's talk about some of the features of Microsoft Azure. The first one is the Microsoft Azure provides the scalable, flexible and cost effective model similar to the AWS, so it is very cost effective. The next one is it allows the developers for quickly managing the applications and the websites. It also manage each resources individually, so it will make it more effective and efficient. The next one is its IAS infrastructure will allow us to launch a general purpose virtual machine in different platforms such as Windows and Linux as per your feasibility. And it also offers a content delivery system, which is CDS for delivering the images, videos, audios and applications. So these are some features for Microsoft Azure. The next one is Google Cloud Platform, which is known as GCP. So the Google Platform is a product of Google. So it consists of set of physical devices such as computers, hard disk drives and virtual machines, which also helps organization for simplifying the migration process. So let's discuss some of the features of Google Cloud Platform. The first one is it includes various big data services such as Google BigQuery, 
Cloud Data Proc, Cloud Data Lab, and the Cloud PubSub. So if you want to implement big data into your organization, then Google Cloud Platform will provide you all these functionalities. The next feature is it also provides various services related to networking, including the Google VPC, which is virtual private cloud, the content delivery network, as well as Google Cloud Load Balancing, Google Cloud Interconnect, and the DNS. The next one is it offers various scalable and high performance. So it is similar as the AWS and Microsoft Azure. The next one is GCP provides various serverless service such as messaging, data warehouse, database, computing, storage, as well as data processing and machine learning. And it also provides a free cloud shell environment with boost mode. So these are some advantages and features of Google Cloud Platform. The next one is IBM Cloud Services. So I hope you heard about the IBM and you know about their products. So IBM Cloud is nothing but an open source, fast and very reliable platform. It is built with suite of advanced data and AI tools, which offers various services such as IAS, SSAS and PAS. So we can access its services like computer power, cloud data and analytics, cloud use cases and the storage networking using the internet connection. So let's discuss some of the features of IBM Cloud services. The first one is IBM Cloud will improve the operational efficiency and its speed and agility will improve the customer satisfaction. So as we have seen earlier that it provides the IAS, PAS and the SSS services which offers various cloud communication services to the IT environment. So these are some key features of IBM Cloud service. The next one is Oracle Cloud. So Oracle is also a giant player in the cloud race which is offered by Oracle Corporation. So it combines platform as a service, infrastructure as a service, software as a service and data as a service with cloud infrastructure. So it is used to perform tasks such as moving application to the cloud, managing the development environment in the cloud and optimizes the connection performance. So let's discuss some of the features of Oracle Cloud. So it provides the various tools for building, integrating, monitoring and securing the applications. The next one is its infrastructure uses the various languages including Java, Ruby, PHP and Node.js. And it also integrates with Docker, VMware and other DevOps tools. The next one is Oracle Database not only provides the unparalleled integration between IAS, PAS, SSS that we have seen in the previous topic, but it also integrates with on-premise platform for improving the operational efficiency. The next one is it maximizes the value of IT investment and it offers the customizable virtual cloud networks, firewalls and IP addresses for secure support private networks. So these are some key features of Oracle Cloud. So this was all about some giant cloud service providers that you should know if you want to implement the cloud service into your organization. So there are so many more companies such as VMware Cloud, Alibaba Cloud, Rackspace, Red Hat as well as Softlayer. So I hope you like this lecture so please subscribe to our channel and also ring the notification bell to get the latest updates and don't forget to follow us on our social media that I have linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.